Welcome back, Frack Crew. This is Jared here with Frack Daddy Barbecue. Today, we're going to be doing a double smoked pineapple bourbon brown sugar glazed ham smoked on my Green Mountain Grill. Now, let's go inside and let's frackify this cook. <laughs> to start off, we have an eight pound already smoked ham. Right here we have one cup of pineapple juice that we're gonna take and inject to our ham. You guys ever see those uh, spiral cut, um, nice fancy hams that they have at your local stores during the holidays? Well, Melissa and I, we wanna do our own twist on it because you know, sometimes they're just not hitting on how we like it. So we're gonna be doing our twist on a glazed ham for the holidays. So we're first gonna start off by scoring our ham. It's important to score this ham for when we put our seasoning on here, you get your seasoning all the way through and you have a very flavorful ham. I'm just gonna be going in a kind of a checkerboard pattern. You can do it however you like. You don't wanna to apply too much pressure, but just apply a little bit of pressure so you don't go too deep. And when you do this, when the ham starts to cook, you'll see that checkerboard pattern while it cooks. So we're gonna be using pineapple juice because pineapple juice is kind of sweet as it is. And you know how salty the ham gets? It's gonna be kind of like a sweet and salty, super savory ham. Please make sure you either have a tray like this or a baking sheet because you're gonna have a lot of liquid left over. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna put it in the fridge for a few hours before we smoke it. So our ham's been in the refrigerator for three to four hours with the injection of the pineapple juice. You're gonna have some liquid on your plate. Don't worry about it, it's just maybe some extra pineapple juice. Go ahead and dump it out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some yellow mustard and I'm gonna use this as a binder. So as you can see, our skin is very nice and dry and I wanna add a binder for my seasoning. Go very lightly, just kind of rub it all about. And as you can see, you're really starting to see where you did those score marks. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna season this ham with some of Uncle Steve's competition pig powder. I'm gonna leave a link for Uncle Steve's website where you can go and get all of his seasonings which pair perfect with pretty much anything that you want. Now don't worry about cook, uh, seasoning up the flat side. We're just doing this part. You can do the meat side if you want. So now that we have our Jim Bowie Prime Plus up to temperature, we're running at 225 degrees. And I'm gonna be using apple pellets because I feel apple pairs perfectly with pork. Now we're gonna put our flat side down and then every 30 minutes, we're gonna come out here and we're gonna spritz it with pineapple juice. We're gonna take this to an internal temperature of 165, but at 140, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put the glaze on so we'll see you when it hits 140. What we're gonna need to make this brown sugar butter bourbon and pineapple glaze, we're gonna start off with a couple spoonfuls of brown sugar. So there's that. Plus we have a half a stick of butter. Then we're gonna come in here. We're gonna use this whole can of crushed pineapple. Then the strange part is they call for your choice of mustard. So I went with a Fredericksburg uh, mustard. So we're gonna add this, a spoonful, a double shot of Jack Daniels. We're going to add all of this in here. So now we're gonna take it over the stove. We're gonna melt everything together. It's gonna come into nice syrup and then we're gonna go put it on the ham. All right, y'all. So we hit the internal temperature we want. Now we're gonna take my glaze and we're just gonna pour it all over this little beautiful looking ham. Oh man, look at this. Frack here from the future. Sorry I'm interrupting this video, guys. But I need to insert a little what I've learned from this. So, this glaze that I made was a little too runny. Now what I would do guys is I would add a little bit more, quite a bit of brown sugar. I would use half of the can of the pineapple and I would reduce the sauce to where it gets nice and thick. 
That way it's nice and thick when it goes on top of your ham to make a beautiful glaze. Now, back to the regular show. We're gonna take it back out. We're gonna let this glaze be on there for about 10, 15 minutes so it can set up. Then we're gonna bring it back in and then y'all know what time it is. So we've gotten to 165 and I wanted the glaze to set. So now we're gonna slice this and we're gonna taste test it to see how tender and beautifully it taste oh man all right so here comes the taste test i've been looking forward to this so guys remember we did a bourbon brown sugar with a pineapple glaze and we also seasoned this ham with some uncle steve's competition pig powder so let's see how everything matches up mm. so guys i'm just going to tell you this I really get a lot of that pineapple that I injected into this. Super tender. You get that Uncle Steve's competition pig powder, which has got some honey notes and some, a lot of different great stuff that goes with pork. And that pineapple glaze, that is killer. You get the saltiness, you get the sweetness. So guys, I highly recommend, please give this recipe a try and let me know what you think about this. Cause I guarantee you, you will be the talk for Christmas dinner. Guys, if you are looking in the market for a new pellet grill, please go check out Green Mountain Grills. You can either get their Daniel Boone, you can get the Jim Bowie, or you can get the, Dave, the Davy Crockett, which is like a tabletop, which is portable. So guys, please go check them out. We're gonna leave a link in our description box for Green Mountain Grills. We're gonna leave a link in our description box for Uncle Steve, so you can go check out Uncle Steve's competition pick powder. And guys, I hope you all have a great and happy Merry Christmas. And if you have any questions about this, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Until next time, we'll see you then.